afternoon baseball here on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Minnesota Twins. So coming to the plate, Kevin Newman, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. First pitch, 1 o'clock. In there, and it's 0 2 now. 0 2 is the count. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. At the ball. Very nice afternoon, high skies, and 77 degrees at game time. The one two he is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Stepping up to the plate, Adam Frazier. He'll get to take his first Adam cuts here. Pitch on the way. No balls in one strike. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. And a splitter swung on and missed that time, and that'll be out number two. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up Jonathan Scope to hit next. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Ball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. Settling in now, Jorge Polanco. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Not shortstop. Jorge Polanco. Now here it comes. And he popped him up. Dyson moving in, but he's not going to be able to make a play on it as it finds the outfield grass for a base hit. So we'll see if they have something in the works here with the leadoff hitter aboard and a guy that can really handle the bat in the number two spot. So that'll bring in Byron Buxton. As he'll take a breaking ball too low, and it's 1-0. That's inside. 2-0. Buxton is simply an all-around great defensive outfielder. Not only does he have great range and great hands, he's also got a plus arm, one that base runners and base coaches certainly have to be mindful of. Absolutely. When you are in the meeting room preparing for this guy, it is the first thing that jumps off the page. Do not take the extra base. Newman fields it cleanly to Frazier at the bag. Over to Bell for the double play. That is good. Digging in now, Eddie Rosario. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. 0-1 the count. Now the pitch. Back up the middle. Right to him. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Josh Bell the next to hit. A match up with Homer Bailey now to lead off the inning. First pitch coming, here it is. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the first out of the inning. That is fair. To the plate now that is the designated fair. hitter, Trey Mancini, Trey. as he'll get his Mancini. first opportunity in this one. And the pitch. 
And this is pulled fouled as he was way out in front there. A ball and a strike. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. One out, nobody on. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Buxton is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. At the plate, Brian Reynolds. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Reynolds. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And that one swung on and missed 0 1. And this is high, a ball and a strike. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. A ball and two strikes now. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Hit out towards second. Scooped up. Throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. That is that the right fielder, Gregory Polanco. Here's Gregory Polanco. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. The 0 1 on its way. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Sent on the ground out to second. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Now it will be the Minnesota D.H. Nelson Cruz. He's set to lead off the home the half of the second. Here comes the first pitch. Grounded back up the middle. Newman's got it. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. So one away here with the bases empty. And that brings up the former American League MVP, Josh Donaldson. First pitch on its way. One oh. The one oh is offered at and missed for the first strike. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready, or he's going to throw it right by you. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. Polanco on the run. He makes the running play. Two down. Now with the plate, Luis Arias. The second baseman. Luis. Oh, yeah. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. Running hard. He's digging for second. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Stepping in now, Mitch Garver, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Oh, one pitch, and he can't make contact on the bender. Oh, and two. Hey, down 0-2, he better be leery of this guy's nasty changeup. He has the ability to bury it down and away or down and in wherever he wants to. So you got to be on point with this one. One and two to the Twins catcher. The set and the one-two hit in the air to center field. Reynolds is on the move for it. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side.
at the plate Jacob Stallings as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one Jacob Stallings first pitch on its way line toward right center and this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases and he'll pull into second here with nobody out here's Gerard Dyson sacrifice attempt here throws in time and that's out number one ready for another chance Kevin Newman 0 for 1 here in the early going Kevin Newman he's set and the pitch fouled away A 1-1 count to the Pirates' leadoff hitter. In today's game, everybody's trying to work off the mound north-south, trying to elevate that heater. He wanted that pitch right there, but I can tell you as an offensive player, I'd rather give you six inches off east-west than to have you call that high fastball. The 1-2. Grounder down the line at third. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. As he arrives at second without a play, as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. Now batting the quarterback, Adam Frazier. So here's Adam Frazier as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. This is on the ground over to first. Only play will be to the pitcher covering, and the runner will advance to third now. So a man at third here with two gone, and that means Jonathan Scope will get ready at the plate. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Now a rocket deep down the line in left. And a fair ball as this one gets to the wall. So that'll bring up Josh Bell. Line drive to center field. Buxton will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Now at the plate, Miguel Sano. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. Hey, we're the still in the early play. stages in this one, only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big right. inning started. No balls and a strike to count. Hey. And that's up in the zone a bit, but a called strike. 0-2. Oh And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's one and two. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. Line hard toward right center. Polanco moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. So the base is empty here with one away, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Max Kepler. First offering on its way. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. That evens it up one and one. Bases are empty, one man out. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Dyson's there. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. So it's back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring in Jorge Polanco to hit next. Here's the first pitch to him. 
down and away. One ball and no strikes. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Polanco around first, heading for second now. The center fielder, number 25, Byron. Buxton. Here's Byron Buxton now. Drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. But a foul ball here, 0-1. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. Polanco stands at second with two gone. Hit weakly back to the mound. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini, as we begin the top of the fourth. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Ball one to start the at-bat. The 1-0. Hard hit to first. And that is through into right field for a single. Now that the center field, Brian Reynolds. So now to the plate, Brian Reynolds. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0-1. Oh, he couldn't catch up with the gas that time. They love the confidence in that pitch right there, going right after one of the better hitters on this team. Not afraid to execute. Uh, got him swinging on the split finger pitch, and that's out number one. Up next Digging in, Gregory right Polanco. Field. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Polanco. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A fastball oh, off the plate away. It's ball one. That swung on and missed, and we're even at one and one. And this one misses now to the Pirate right fielder. Two and one. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Jacob Stallings will be the next hitter as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for bowl one. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Sliced hard on the ground. Fielded cleanly. And there are two away now. On to the pitcher covering and it's in time. A double play and the inning is over. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. At the plate, Eddie Rosario. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Up next to the twin, the designated hitter, Nelson. Cruz. And that'll bring up the big stick of Nelson Cruz. He gets it hard on the ground to the left. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. Now that the third baseman. Josh Donaldson. Josh Donaldson digging in now. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Well, they've yet to hang a number on the scoreboard, but it looks like they've got a great opportunity from the breakthrough. Going to be pretty demoralizing if they can't. 
One and one count now to Donaldson. And it's one and two. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye levels to boot. The one two. Swing and a fly ball. But this will land untouched. None out, runners at first and second. Takes this the other way to right. That's in there. Base hit. And no sense risking anything here as the bases will be loaded now with still nobody out. Second baseman. Oh, yeah. Into the box, Luis Arias. As the first pitch years have been high, it's ball one. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Nope. Good slider there, but laid off and called the ball low. Arias. Is five foot ten inches tall, bats left, but throws right-handed. He's in his rookie year here at the big league level. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. 88 on a changeup. I remember when an 88 mile an hour fastball wasn't all that bad. Man, the game's changing. Liner towards second, but well, this is hauled in by the second baseman. Oh, and he takes his eye off it here, and it goes right past him. But luckily, it doesn't get far enough away to allow the runners to advance. Striding into the box, Mitch Garver, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Polanco has a read on it. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. And never much of a chance to even think about scoring there. What a big second out. Here's Miguel Sano. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the result sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. Liner towards second, but right there is the second baseman, and that will retire the side. So digging in now, Gerard Dyson. He'll start off the fifth in this one. The left fielder, Gerard Dyson. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Grounded up the first baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Here's the pitch. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Hey, if he's going to get swings and misses at balls up and out of the zone, he's going to continue to go there. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Trying to pick things up where he left off, Kevin Newman. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Heading out towards shallow right. Kepler's there for it, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Coming to the now plate now, Adam Frazier. He was retired Adam. via the ground ball last time up. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Pulled toward right center field. Kepler's on the move. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. Stepping into the box, Max Kepler. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Now here it comes. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. 
Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. So the batting order batting turns over, over now and set to go for Hip Polanco. He doubled his last time through. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. That's inside. 2-0. Both teams with six hits so far. Lifted down the line and left. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. And there's a called strike at the knees as he was hoping for a base on balls there, but it's a full count now, three and two. Smoke the other way, high and deep to left. Ranging back is Dyson. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Into the box, Byron Buxton. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. First delivery to him on the way. There's a breaking ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. You have to be careful. You can't sleep on the bunt right here, even with two outs. They're playing him back, but this guy can handle the bat. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Line to the right side. That gets down, and the inning will continue. Around second. He's on his way to third. The left fielder, number 20, Eddie Rosario. Standing in now, Eddie Rosario, as he'll get out ahead of a changeup and swing through it for strike one. A hit and two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Barely able to make contact. Down 0-2 now. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Here's Jonathan Scope now, hoping to build off that RBI double from his last plate appearance. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach to A.B. Couldn't resist on that one, and he's behind nothing and one. Not too many guys taking the mound today with this good a split. Look at the downward action on that thing. It's falling off the table. Buxton comes on now, and he has it one down. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Josh Bell. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line-out. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Here's the 0-1. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of the spots, and... That's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. This is in the air out to right. Kepler's there for it, makes the play, and there are two gone now. now so striding it. forward it now, Trey Mancini. Last Ray. time through was a base hit. Here comes the first pitch. High in the air out to center field. Buxton is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side.
Here's Nelson Cruz now. He'll lead it off as we start the home sixth. The designated hitter, Nelson. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Good off speed pitch. Had him out in front for strike one. Here's a late swing and a miss. Strike two. You could definitely tell this hitter's been guessing at the plate and guessing wrong. But here's where you can't expand the zone. You have to take a deep breath and try and fight yourself back to an even count. And another foul ball. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0-2. And he looks at a ball, one and two. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. Two and two. Hit well towards the hole. And a good throw gets him one gun. Here's the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. First offering on its way. Line towards center field. Reynolds is there, two gone. Now at the plate, Luis Arias. He's one for two in this one. Oh, yeah. Here's the first pitch to him. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. But a foul ball here, 0-1. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Reynolds will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Seventh inning ready to roll. Digging in, Brian Reynolds. A hit in two tries for him so far. Brian Reynolds. First pitch coming. Here it is. And he just keeps rolling along as he starts another batter out with strike one. You never want to take the aggression away from a ball player, but in this situation, I'd like to see the leadoff guy try and work the count a little bit more, especially when this pitcher's missing like he is. Hit sharply on the ground, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. One away here for the Bucks in their half of the seventh. And the left-handed hitting outfielder Gregory Polanco bats next. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Now the fastball is swung on and missed. Two runs, six hits, and no errors so far for the Pirates. Now a splitter's in there, and he's quickly behind nothing and two. And he couldn't get him to chase the 0-2 fastball. It's one and two. And he fouls this one off. Still a ball and two strikes. Fouled off. Try again, one, two. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. 
Now he goes the other way, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. And it's gone! Now batter, the catcher. To the plate now, Jacob Stallings. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. One for two in the ball game thus far. And this is popped up near second base. Arise, shading to his right, makes the play, and there are two gone now. now Coming to the plate now, Gerard Dyson, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. He pulls this one into right. That gets down, and the inning continues. Now back, the second baseman, Kevin Newman. At the plate, Kevin Newman. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1 and 0. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. This is line to left. Rosario will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. In now, Mitch Garver will try and get something started in the home half of the seventh. The catcher, Mitch Garver. First pitch of the at bat. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Line to the right side. And that'll get by and on through towards the wall. Around first, he's digging for second. So the big bat of Miguel Sano digs in next. And on the first pitch, he hits it in the air to right. On, he can't track it down as this ball falls. To second now, but he's safe as a run also comes in to score, making it a two-run ball game. Right fielder, Max Kepler. Max Kepler, the next to grab a bat. As he will take a look at a fastball in there as that strike zone expands just a little. It's 0-1. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0-2. Got to believe you're going to get some tough pitches in this count with the base open at first. This is where you have to regroup and find a way to get a good pitch to drive in that run. Pulled toward right center field. And this is run down out there in right center as the runner tags from second. Well, he thought about tagging and moving up, but instead he's back to second. Batter number 11. And now back to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup, stepping in Jorge Polanco. He flew out in his last at-bat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Givens is a fairly prototypical bullpen arm in today's game. Electric stuff that results in a lot of strikeouts, and that clearly helps him through the tough spots like the one he finds himself in here. Matty V, let me tell you something. What makes this guy so special? He's like his own relief pitcher for a relief pitcher. He gets into trouble. What does he do? He kind of puts it in fifth gear, and he just takes it up another notch. Not a lot of guys can do what this guy does. He can pitch a couple of different gears, and when he puts that thing in full drive, he's nearly impossible to make contact off of. A swing and a ground ball to third. And he has delivered one of the biggest at-bats of the afternoon as he cashes in with a base hit. The batter, the left fielder, Eddie Rosario. Stepping in now, Eddie Rosario. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. 
Hey, I know the tying runs at first right here, but if the pitcher on the mound executes, keeps the ball in play, I think good things are going to happen. 2-0 to the They're Twins left fielder. You thank your lucky stars when you get a chance to hit behind a guy with as much speed as he has on first base. The entire defense is on guard, and you know probably there's a fastball coming. Lifted down the line in left, and no one will track it down. Two runs, ten hits, and no errors in the ballgame for Minnesota. He's going, there he's goes going. Buxton. Pitch inside the throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. And now the runner's trying for third. Strike taken, the throw. Is well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. He set the 3 2. And a swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Stepping in, Adam Frazier. He'll start us off in the eighth. The book Adam Frazier. Tyler Duffy has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 21, Tyler Duffy. First delivery to him on the way. This is pulled into right, and there's a base hit, so a chance to add little insurance here as the leadoff man is on to start the eighth. Up next to Pittsburgh, the third baseman, Jonathan Scope. So that'll bring up Jonathan Scope as he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. And it's fouled away. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Stepping in, Josh Bell. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Here comes the first pitch. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Popped him up. Garver is there. And that's the second out of the inning. Now to the plate, Trey Mancini. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit pretty well out toward right center field. Center fielder on the run. And a long run, but he's there to track it down. Nice range, and the side is retired. Leading off the inning, Nelson Cruz. And they'll need him to get something going here. The dedicated hitter, Nelson Cruz. He's set. Here it comes. This is on the ground over to first. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. The third baseman, number 24. Jimmy Kerrigan will come on now and pinch run here. Number two, Jimmy. So now to the plate, Josh Donaldson. As he'll watch a slider that stays inside for ball one. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. 
Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. From the stretch. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. The next twin up, Luisa Reyes. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Luis. Oh, yeah. From the stretch, here's the pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Dyson on the run. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. But he's safe at first as he gets back in time. Digging in and looking for more, Mitch Garver. He hit a two-bagger and later scored in his previous plate appearance. Yeah, give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now, let him run and get you a ribbon. Pitch outside, the throw. Not in time as he steals second. One and oh, here it is. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball, one and one. Good action on the two-seamer there, and it's one and two. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Swing and a liner. Foul. the stretch the one two and he'll try to hold up in time but to no avail as he went around and the inning is over all set to start the ninth in this one stepping into the box Brian Reynolds Brian Reynolds First offering on its way. No balls in one strike. The 0-1 on its way. Nope. That's inside. Two balls, one strike. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Stop by the post office to get stamps on the way to mailing in that swing. It's three and two now. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire, so it's ball four. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And the left-handed hitting outfielder Gregory Polanco bats next. From the belt, the pitch. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. Pulled toward right center field. Kepler moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for route number one. Ready now, Jacob Stallings. He's working on a one for three thus far. From the stretch. Inside, ball one. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. One and two now as that one's fouled off. One out, one on, and a one-run game. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this will land untouched.
This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Center fielder giving chase. But the left fielder calls him off and makes the catch. And that's the second out of the inning. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And into bat next is speedy Gerard Dyson. From the belt, the pitch. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. And he lays off for ball one. You know he wants that on the mound, especially if it would have made the count 0-2. Didn't get it, though, so now you have to make another quality pitch on 1-1. One and one. And he lays off this one down and in for ball two. Turned on down the line, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Struck him out, so it remains a one-run lead as they head in for their final set of swings. So striding in, Miguel Sano. It was an RBI double for him in his last turn to the plate. Miguel. First pitch of the at bat. Purple looked at here for strike one. Ooh, I'm shocked he got away with that one, boys. Curveball right down the middle of the plate. And for him to take that pitch looking, he had to be sitting on something else, but he should have pulled the trigger. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Now at the plate, Max Kepler. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Alex Avila will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Number 16, Alex Avila. And a fastball misses here to start the at bat. It's 1 and 0. Big swing and a miss at the changeup. A ball and a strike. I'll straighten him up there on that fastball. It's 1 and 2 now. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. And he strikes him out as well. So Hell make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the Four first man. two men he faces out of the bullpen. Now the pitch. Hey. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. Well, if you could throw it for a strike consistently, a first pitch changeup is effective. Hitters are almost never looking for it. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up, and no one will track it down. And a big pitch coming here late, so he'll step out and ask for time. Final strike for the Twins. A ball and two strikes to the Twins shortstop. Man, the pitcher let the guy off easy right there. That old two pitch wasn't even close. I'd rate that as a non-competitive pitch. Now a little dribbler here off to the right side of the mound. Throw in time, and the ball game is over. A one-run game this afternoon, 3-2 to two the final finish. The Pittsburgh Pirates led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Mitch Keller gets the W on the mound. Homer Bailey takes the loss despite working seven strong innings.